Hello, it's Lou Collins. Today I've got a video for you using one of the new magazines. This is Die Cutting Essentials, issue number 97. Now this one comes with a beautiful memory box floral window die set. It's also got stamps in there. We've also got some beautiful downloadable printables as well. So gorgeous pattern papers. I'll just show you these because they are stunning. So we've got mint greens, we've got soft yellows in there, all your pastel colours, beautiful lilacs. There's butterflies and such in there too. Um, I'm, I can see me pulling these out time and time again. Um, that's what I love about printables. You can just print off as many as you want. Now I'm going to do quite a simple card today to show you that actually you don't need to go too crazy with all the detail to make a really lovely elegant card. So I'm just going to use um, a white card base in addition to everything else. And this of course is going to be the focal point of my card, this beautiful die. Now what's really special about this die, if I just take it out of the packaging, it's all brand new, I've not played with it yet. So I'm doing this for the first time with you is this die has a, a border that cuts on the inside. So let's just peel this away from the back. It's got a little bit of tape holding it on. So this inner edge cuts. There's no outer edge to cut, which is great. Um, but then we have got this lovely pin dot detail around here. So the pin dot detail is going to add almost like a, looks like a stitched effect to it. So I think the first thing we need to do is just cut this and see what it looks like. Now, because I'm cutting, oh, I didn't show you actually, there's another, some more downloads there. So sort of like the stamped images as such, very similar font, uh, but lots of different words and colors for you as well there you can download. So the first thing to do is simply to um, just die cut this. Now you can do this because it's like a floral shape. You can do it in any way you want. So I'm going to actually do it, I think I'll do it this way, towards the top of the page as well. Um, let's take a little bit of low tack tape. Now you may be thinking, well actually, if she cuts that like that, that is just going to um, cut through to both layers, but it's not. I'm going to fold the card over, I'll show you. I'm just adding a little bit of fluff off my jumper onto that tape. So I've placed that kind of in the middle. I've got fluff and all sorts on there. Um, place that into the middle of my card, but towards the top side and then, or top edge, and then I'm going to fold the back over on top of the die. So all the cutting edge and all the pin dot detail is underneath onto the card. That's going to be the front of my card, that's the back. But I'm folding the back over onto the top. And then I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. So this may leave, or it will leave, an impression on the back of the card, but we've got the pretty pattern papers to be able to cover that over, so I'm not worried about that. So run this through forwards and backwards because of course we are going through a strong cardstock and already you can see that has cut absolutely beautifully. Let's just open this up gently because as I say you will get a bit of an impression from the, what have we got here? Oh of course we've got sticky on the back of the um, die there. So there's a sl very slight impression on the card, but as I say, I'm going to mat over that so that's not a problem. Let's very carefully remove this low tack tape. Let's hopefully I put enough fluff on the tape and I'm going to peel it off extremely gently. It's actually coming off the die first, but I'm going to take this off slowly it's a bit tedious but it's definitely the best way to ensure that you don't pull up any of your cardstock and then this tool is uh, from craft stash and it's actually an adhesive eraser so this way i can just remove any sticky that's left from that tape on there for a really lovely clean finish now look and i'm wondering how best i can show you that it looks beautiful can you see the pin dot detail it's stunning um, if you open this up, you can actually see on the other side, you have a slightly different version. You've got the, the, the holes that have been poked through pointing upwards, so you get some more texture there. It's really elegant. I love that. It's subtle. It's beautiful. So I'm also going to pop behind here now. Can you see we've got this aperture? So I'm going to cut down a piece of this beautiful green just to sit in that aperture. So the first thing to do, because of course I've printed this off, I've got a white border around the edge. So remove the border on two edges. It's very fresh, this color, very, um, very beautiful. So I've got my, my nice straight corner now, so I can now place this inside 
my card base. Make sure the edges there and there are fairly even or to the eye. You can measure if you prefer. I'm going to take a pencil and just mark the other two edges and cut those two. So there's one. And then where's the other? There's the other one. I can just see that pencil line there too. I try to sometimes mark ever so slightly larger and then cut inside of the pencil line. So we're cutting away the pencil line completely. So I'm just going to glue this down now, just using a little bit of wet glue. Hopefully my glue's not clogged up too much. Just a tiny amount because these are thin papers. I've just printed them off onto copy paper. You can get more specialist paper for printing off things like backing papers, but I just find copy paper is fine. It gives a nice matte finish, but it does mean it's thin. So if you're applying glue, just be um, a bit sparse, sparse with it. Try not to apply too much because you don't want to make that paper wrinkle at all. Lay that down, get a little bit of wiggle room with the wet glue just for a moment and ensure that glue is spread and you don't have any blobs. There we go. So already we're starting to look like we've got a really pretty um, and quite a subtle card. I did say a small, elegant card. Now, within the um, set here, we've also got um, this little bundle of dies here. So we've got Sending Love and we've got some lovely little um, petal shapes there as well amongst other things so I thought it might be nice to take the same paper and cut this I'm going to need to cut it quite a few times but enough to at least get a few of the petals uh, filled in here so I'm going to run this through quite a number of times until I've got enough petals in the same green colour to layer over the pin dot detail so as you can see here, I've got lots of these little green petals, so I'm going to start placing some of them down. I've decided that this flower at the bottom is going to be using the largest petals. So pop these on, pick these ones out. So just a little line of glue and using the pin dot detail as a guide. There's six petals for each. So hopefully I've cut enough flowers. I think I have. And if you don't lay them over absolutely perfectly, it doesn't matter. There, and one more. And I'll probably get a little gem or, or a pearl or something to pop into the centre of that flower. And then I'm going to do the same up here, just with the slightly smaller florals as well. So, not floral, sorry, petals. So the, there's a small, medium and large petal on the die. And I'm going to use the next size down, just to make the bottom one a little heavier because it's bigger, just so that the card doesn't feel like it's off balance at all. So whizzing through this quite quickly. We've also got the option of uh, little, little florals in here that we could use as well that have been cut out. We've got the sentiment there as well if you want to use that. So there's lots within this die set with this magazine. There we go. So just adding a little bit of colour to that. Now, all I'm going to do before I add things like my gems, which is always my finishing touch, is just stamp the sentiment in the centre. Um, and that's going to come from here. And I've got lots to choose from here. So I think I'm just going to do just thanks. I think thanks are a nice simple sentiment. You could be thanking them for absolutely anything. You could be feeding your cat while you're away. Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the invitation as well. Uh, you know, all these different things we send thanks for. So because I've got my card half constructed, I'll keep it folded in two and just hold that down nicely. Place that in there. Now I'm going to stamp this in a nice solid black, a dark black, because I want it to stand out on the patterned paper. I could go with white, but it, I think it kind of blend in a little bit too much then. So just adding my ink until I've got a nice solid ink colour on there. Let's remove any excess ink from the outer edge because we've got a lovely clean white card. The last thing we want to do is be adding black to it. There we go. Now I've got a little bit on the A that didn't impress so I'm going to go back over that. I think that might actually be something that I've managed to get something sticking on my stamp. No, it's fine. It's all good. 
it's there there we go so lastly I just need to find myself some little gems to finish this off and I'll just pop those in the centers there of each of the flowers and that will be that now when you see the uh, photograph of this you'll see that um, actually that pin dot detail really stands out with the bright lights it's not so obvious now but it's a really beautiful delicate card that you can be making if you get yourself uh, die cutting essentials so as I say this is issue 97 I can't believe we're up to 97 um, and we've also got the two dies there and all the stamps along with the downloadable papers as well. If you do have this magazine and you want to follow along with this tutorial or you'd like to create your own, please do share it with us in Craft World over in the Inspiration Gallery.